Bevvor Kegerator beer fridge. Now, pretty much everybody that I know, when you're doing a cookout in the backyard, you want to have an adult beverage. Well, Dead Broke has got themselves a kegerator, and this could get a little dangerous. So grab yourself a CO2 tank, Rich. We're gonna amplify some backyard barbecue fun. The unboxing on this kegerator went perfect, and all the parts inside were either taped down or reinforced with some wire ties, so there was no way that any of that stuff was going to shift around during transportation. First thing you got to do on the installation is put on the casters if you want to use them. If you don't want to use the casters, they do send you these little feet so you can adjust it and get it nice and level. You have two different types of casters, one with locks and one's without. The ones with no lock, they're going on the back side. There's multiple different holes on here, but these, they're going to go on just like this. Now you don't want to tighten these all the way up until you get all four screws in. Next, we'll put on our locking casters right on the front. Now after you get that done, close up the door and we can flip it over. This is why you always keep that foam so you don't scratch up your new kegerator. Get her put over and it's very light. You're not gonna hurt yourself with this. Yeah, sweep up the floor a little bit. Gonna have beer pretty soon. Get this rolled over and it rolls really easy. We gotta put on our beer tower and there's a wire tie that's holding this together. So you're gonna have to cut that off. And we remove this little cap, this protector, and we're gonna have to take out these screws. Now they do send you a multi-head screwdriver, so that's gonna make your installation easier. It makes me a jolly good fellow. First thing, make sure you take your hoses get them stuck down through here because this is what's going to bring up the beer. We're going to line up our gasket, keep this ring up for right now, and get this tower lined up. Now obviously, we're, we're going to hook up our tappers. We want them in the front. Same thing, just get these started and a little finger tight. I'm starting to get thirsty, so it's obviously beer 30 somewhere. Snug it up. There we are. Put your ring back down because it gives it a nice looking finish. Grab your faucets and your multi-tool and make sure that you keep this around because you're gonna use it. Just line it up and it's pretty simple. Keep it so it's up and down. And once you got them both on, take your multi-tool, use this little nipple and you can see that there's holes here. Put it on top and tighten it up. They don't have to be excessively tight, but you want them snug. You don't want no beer leaking out of there because that's alcohol abuse. Now just screw on your tapper handles and we're starting to look like a tavern already. Now it's time to put on our beer couplers and we want to make sure that we're hooking them up on top because this is going up to the beer tower. The side part, that's for the gas. So first we put on a hose clamp, then with the threads out, put on this nut and now you got to take your barb and get that started. Now this is going to be a little stiff, so you're just going to have to work it through. Then you can go ahead, pull your nut up, get your hose clamp up here, and then take the head off the screwdriver. And use this as a nut driver and tighten it up. For the beer coupler, you got to use the black washer. Get that, put in that nut, and then just go ahead and screw this on tight. Snug it up with your wrench a bit. Now, because this one's a dual head, I'm just gonna repeat it. Grab your CO2 bracket, and we're gonna hang that on the back. And it just hangs right on these four little screws. You're gonna have to purchase your own CO2 tank, and that's pretty simple. Just go to a welding shop, or a lot of places that fill up LP tanks, they'll have these too, but you're gonna have to look around for it. And this just sits right here, and then just take this little Velcro, and then you can lock this tank right into place. Grab your regulator and your wrench, and let's put this on the tank. We're gonna wanna make sure you got this nice and snug. Grab your tubing and a hose clamp, and we're gonna put that on. Take off this little black cover, and we're gonna stick our hose all the way through we want to leave a little bit of an angle on it because we don't want it to pinch off. I'm going to have to cut off some of this tubing, but I want to make sure that I leave it long enough. Because we're going to be hooking up to these beer couplers, this is giving me plenty of slack. Now you can use a razor knife if you want to or any type of tubing cutters. For this step, grab your T-joiner and another hose clamp. So first, put on our hose clamp and then we got to use the middle barb because these other two will join those beer couplers. Now just take your tubing and put it together and cut it off. Get one on each end of that T-joiner. Thank God I've got vice grip like fingers. <clears throat> Back to putting on a hose clamp. Now we gotta hook up our CO2 lines to our beer couplers. Like always, put on our hose clamp, put on our nut with the threads facing in and grab this barb and get that squeezed on. Tighten it up, 
and repeat on the other side. But on this end, we're using these type of little washer gaskets. Stick that in there, get her on, grab your wrench and get her nice and snug, and it'll just repeat on the other side. Grab your rail, and those just line up with these little pegs. Then grab your honeycomb drip tray, and ah, it's even got little rubber feet so it doesn't slide all over the place. Time to plug it in. Now hold the button down, and we're gonna bring it down to about 34 degrees. And to help that, we're gonna turn on the fan. Let's go get some beer. Thank God I'm a former Viking linebacker. These things are pretty heavy. So now the fun part starts. Let's hook up these kegs. Can't take it back. <laughs> Pull your handle back and then you're gonna turn it to a point and then lock her in. Grab my keg and we're gonna work its way back. Now this hose is hooked up to the fan so it's good to get it down in between the kegs, kind of help get them a little cooler. Now, grab the Modelo. Same thing, pull our handle back, twist her on, and lock her down. Get this keg up in here, and it's gonna be tight. Please, Jesus. How are we gonna get these in? I'm gonna set two quarter barrels. Well, we got a oopsie. I thought we could fit two quarter barrels in here, but we can't. You can fit one quarter barrel and then one pony keg. If this was cut back just a tad and it was a little bit wider, then two quarter barrels will fit. We're gonna have to get one of these drank in a hurry because the other one's gonna have to sit in my fridge. <sighs> and now I can only have one choice of beer because of two inches. I'm sure a lot of you have heard that before that you just came a couple inches short. So like they say, the show must go on. Let's open up that CO2 tank. First, we'll open up our valve all the way and then we wanna dial in our pressure to about 10 to 12 PSI. So just right about there, we'll call it. And now we can just open this valve up and let our CO2 out. Now I might get a little bit of foam on this first pour because, well, it was in transport and who knows how much carbonation is actually in this beer or not. If that beer is hitting that faucet fast, it's gonna foam up. But let's pour a beer. Oh yeah, we are hot. Woo! We'll back it down a little bit, take a little of that CO2 off to about eight. Let's see if we get a little better pour. Oh yeah. Here's to good friends. Tonight is kind of special, the beer with pour. It's not the same brand, but still a great tune. All right, here we go. Get a little foam on the nose. Ah, perfect. I'm not embarrassed at all. Now after the debacle, this thing got up to about 44 degrees, but it's cooling down, we're at 41 now. So it recovers fast. Now if you're looking for your very own kegerator, check the links below and that'll head you right over to Vivor's website. There's really nothing better than having a draft beer at home. Not because of Ronald Reagan, I couldn't drink until I was 21 years old. It's probably a good thing because us Vikings, we like our mead. Mm-hmm. Well, that's all I got. Roll the nation.